You know you're British if you call people mate, cock or duck. Yes, we Brits call people that we've never actually met before mate. It's the great leveller, the word that makes everyone feel included. Walk into any pub and you'll hear it tossed around like confetti. Cheers mate. All right mate. Thanks mate. It's our way of being friendly without getting too personal. Because, I mean, who needs actual names when you've got mate? And it's not just the word itself, it's how we use it. In some places, it's a term of endearment. In others, it's a warning sign. Mate can be a friendly greeting or a precursor to a fight. Listen, mate, is usually followed by something you'd rather not hear. It's versatile, like a catch-all phrase for every occasion. But let's dive deeper into the weird and wonderful world of British greetings. In the East End of London, you might find yourself being called cock. Yes, really. All right, cock. It's meant with the utmost affection. I promise, I promise. And if you venture to the Midlands, you'll encounter duck. How's it going, duck? It's a term of endearment that baffles outsiders, but warms the hearts of locals. Imagine walking into a shop in Derby and being greeted with, what can I do for you, duck? It's both charming and utterly bewildering if you're not from around these parts. These regional greetings make British interactions so wonderfully unique. Then, there's the hilarity of using these terms with strangers. You can be in a queue, waiting for your turn, and the person in front will turn around and say, you are right, mate? You've never met them before, and you probably never will again. But for that brief moment, you're mates, or you're ducks, or cocks. It's endearing and utterly British. The beauty of it is, no one bats an eyelid. We've normalised calling each other by animal names or generic terms of endearment, and it's part of what makes us who we are. It breaks down barriers, makes us feel connected, and often results in hilarious misunderstandings. So next time you're out and about in Britain, listen out for these peculiar greetings. Embrace the mate, the cock, and the duck. It's all part of the charm. And remember, if someone calls you mate, they're not just being friendly. They're acknowledging your honorary membership in the great British social fabric.